full steam ahead And we're neither shook or scared Too far along for that Do it again We're right here, we're right here The Titans and Ravens have met 24 times They have bloodied the other's lip countless times in games that resulted in strange final scores featured bizarre plays and had wacky endings. Fires, Brown makes the catch at the 10, spinning, driving his way oh, into the yes, end zone. Oh, wow. How did he do it? Oh, yes, yes, history, yes, yes. As the Titans will run out of Baltimore with a shocker in OT. From the Bet MGM studio, welcome to the Bike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. With the head coach, I'm Mike Keith. Titans win in Baltimore on Sunday, 30-24. to It was a game that saw the Titans jump out to a lead, fall behind in the third quarter, and for the first time this year, the Ravens lost a fourth quarter lead, and the Titans moved to 7-3 with an important victory over an AFC foe. Mike Vrabel, your football team just kept pounding and pounding and pounding. And if you hit the rock enough, eventually it breaks. That's what it felt like. You just kept at it. And by the time it was over, you'd captured the win. You got a lot of pride for, for coaching these guys. Um, it's an honor to, to, to coach them as hard as they play. It's not always perfect. Um, but but it, was, it was pretty satisfying to go down there and and get a win um, to be able to execute the keys in which we we did defensively, stopping the run, forcing the play outside the numbers, and then you know being able to just to stick around and do enough offensively. I mean, we gained uh, 300 yards in the second half on them, and I think they gained maybe 165 on us. So you know we were able to win the second half in overtime, which which was the difference in the football game. Coming off the Thursday night game with Indianapolis, you talked about wanting to see your team improve, working on you. It felt like you did that and you showed it in Baltimore two days ago. Yeah, I felt like we did. I felt like guys that, you know, maybe didn't play their best or could have played better certainly stepped up and, and improved. But we also had a lot of great efforts from guys that you wouldn't have normally seen out there. And – Sometimes that build that brings more opportunity. So we'll, we'll see where it goes this week. Mike Vrabel's six pack begins the show. We begin with the first Titans drive second game in a row where the Titans have scored a touchdown on their first possession. This one from the one yard line and it's John U. Smith finishing. Well, you know, he's good down there in the red zone. He's got good hands. He goes up and catches it. He's been really reliable for us. You know, I thought it was a good play call and, and even better execution. Janu Smith with a touchdown grab, his seventh of the year. Titans lead seven to nothing. By the time we pick up play number two, the Titans trail 14 to seven, 403 remaining in the first half. And special teams into the bag of tricks. Well, just thought we had an opportunity there with uh, with Logan. You know, it looked uh, really good in practice. And, you know, Nick ran a good route. You know, we had good protection and uh, just a well executed play. You know, the, the guy's making us look good by, by calling it. It's 14 to 10 at the half. When we pick up next with play number three, the Titans trail 21 to 10, and the passing game gets going to spark Tennessee. Yeah, you know, I thought Corey ran a really good route. Uh, Ryan threw him open. You know, great catch. You know, continue to secure the ball. And, you know, glad that Corey's, you know, okay. But you know, he, he really sold it. The, the, the pass protection up front. Sell to run, got in there behind Peters, and 
and he got a little nosy and, and Corey was able to get behind him. 50 yards on the play leads to a Titans field goal. It's 21 to 13. When we move to this fourth play, a takeaway that the Titans get from Amani Hooker. Yeah, you know, he was in single coverage deep with, with, a, with a young, fast player, and he stayed on top and, and I thought did a great job of playing the football. You know, playing the football, seeing it, getting his eyes up and, and making a heck of a catch. And you know, certainly talked about we'd like to have more turnovers, and that, that didn't happen, but, you know, we came up with one when we needed it. Hooker now leads the team with three interceptions on the season. Regulation ends with the two teams tied at 24. Baltimore wins the toss. They take the football. On first down, they pick up two yards. Here's second down. Well, just Harold, you know, we, we called a blitz. I thought it was a really good call for the time. You know, they were you know, back on track. It was second and long. And, you know, he's able to slip in there, get into the pocket, and, and get that negative play that we needed at that time. Landry was absolutely fantastic on all three snaps in overtime. The three and out gets the ball back for the Titans. They throw to get down the field to the 29-yard line, and they end it with Derrick Henry. Well, you know, I, I feel like those sequence of plays, you know, they were up there packed in there and thought we could run, but, you know, throw the ball. And then when we did decide to run it, we got that. We got guys that knocked them off on the front side, everybody finishing. I wish we had another angle of this. I'm sure we do. But you see the guys finishing. You see Dennis finishing. There's Nate Davis. There's Khalif Raymond. That's the definition of finishing longer than the guy with the ball. And you could see the sidelines. Everybody knew when we got that ball cut back, you know, that that game was over. Derrick Henry, 29 yards, finishes the game with 133 yards. Now the NFL's leading rusher once again. Later in this edition of the Mike Vrabel Show, presented by Coca-Cola, the Rackley Roofing Tough Titan, Amy Wells, going to talk to Big Jeff. But coming up next, it's the Bridgestone Performance Play of the Game. You're going to love the looks at this one. It's coming up from the Bet MGM studio. Stay with us. From the Bet MGM studio, the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola continues, and it's time for the Bridgestone Clutch Performance Play of the Game. Love this one. Gave the Titans the lead. A.J. Brown's made a lot of good plays, Coach. This was one of the best. Well, you know, I think we're just trying to get it there to, to be in, in, in fourth and short and get a catch and run. Um, he's done this multiple times. You know, he's, uh, he's broken tackles. But, but again, there's other guys that have helped him, you know. Cam's heading over there to try to get a block. Here comes Jeremy. But you can see him taking care of the football, shrugging off tacklers, and uh, then carrying a uh, linebacker into the end zone. He really is like a running back when he gets his hands on the ball and starts down the field. He's got great play strength. I think you saw that as evident as on, the, on their sideline. Uh, probably looked like they had him for a five- or six-yard gain, and then – you know, whatever it was, 18 yards later, you know, he's down, he's tiptoeing down the sideline. I gave the Titans the lead, and that is our Bridgestone Clutch Performance Play of the Game. As we go to break, it's time for the Delta Dental Guess uh -huh. the Titan. You ready, Coach? Yes, so. All right. Delta Dental Guess the Titan. First look. What a cool outfit. It's a great outfit. Can you guess this Titan? We'll see if Coach Mike Vrabel can. When we continue from the Bet MGM studio, this is the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. The Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola from the Bet MGM studio. Delta Dental, can you guess this Titan? Mike Vrabel, can you guess this Titan? I could probably take a guess. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near correct. But is that Derrick Henry? Is that Derrick Henry, he says. Ooh. Oh, Nicely roll, done. Ashley. We are on a heater. By the way, can we show that picture again? That may be the cutest outfit. It doesn't really look anything like Derrick Henry. I can't believe you got that. You no, know, he's still just as fashionable today. As he, he is? 
I wish I could wear some of the stuff he wears. He is so trendy. He's like out, he's like out of a New York magazine, the guy. Very unique style, Michael. Yes. Very unique style. You know who else has a unique style? Big Jeff, Jeffrey Simmons. He has a different style, but he's another former SEC star who does it his way. Talk to me about Jeffrey Simmons. Just the person that you're getting with him is you're getting a guy who loves his teammates, loves football, continues to improve and study what we're doing. Uh, he's a joy to be around. You know, he plays extremely hard. He has a lot of fumble recoveries. He's always around the ball. You know, if, if the receiver doesn't get on that ball the other day that, that Rashawn popped out of there, you know, Jeff's going to get that ball there and, and the game's going to be over. He's doing a lot of work for us, and, and we really, you know, obviously, appreciate you know, his efforts each and every day, especially on Sunday. He is a star. He does the spectacular, but he has a blue-collar heart. Standing by is our Rackley Roofing Tough Titan with Amy Wells. It's Jeffrey Simmons. Your final score, Tennessee 30, Baltimore 24, as for the second time in 2020. The Titans come to M&T Bank Stadium and get it done again. Jeffrey, we've got to start by talking about the defensive effort against the Baltimore Ravens. It seems like no matter what happened, you guys were relentless and just kept rolling. Is that something you put an emphasis on this week? We're talking about starting fast. We're talking about everybody flying around with their energy. You know, because if one person has energy on it on the defense, it just, you know, it's like a domino effect. You just pass it on to the next guy, the next guy. And I saw 11 guys on the field flying around, having fun and making plays. It's that mentality, like next play mentality. And that's what we did, you know. We gave up a touchdown, we went back out there, I think they kicked the field goal or we got off the field. And, and I think that's the mindset of the defense, you know. We, we won't be denied, we're gonna keep fighting, we're gonna fight it till the zero zero is on the clock. Seeing the offense make some big plays to match the intensity that the defense is bringing, that has to continue the momentum and keep things flowing throughout the entire team, right? Right, right, that's what I'm saying. You know, I've always been a guy like leadership come from within. And if, if each guy, you know, especially from offense to defense to special team, like Bates went down and made the uh, hell of a play on um, the special team on the kickoff, you know, that gave me energy, you know, just seeing him running down making plays. So I think with the offense giving us energy by going down and scoring, you know, it gave him momentum to the defense. Okay, the defense, let's go do our job now. I seen Tanya here came to the sideline once, especially in overtime, you know, let's go out there, get this stop, and he said we're going to win this game. And I think that's just the th great thing about our team, you know, we have each other back. You've really emerged as a leader on this team this season, and you seem to be improving week after week. Is the best still yet to come for you? I don't think I'm I'm there yet. I think I, I know for sure I have a lot to work on. And I'm meeting with Coach um, T extra, especially after the coach game, because I knew that I didn't play the best that I could. And, you know, I came in this week like, see, I want to be better. I got to be better than this. So, you know, what can I work on to be better? Like I said, each week I want to keep taking this next step to be the best that I could be. I said, I know I can be better and I know I'm going to get better. Guys in the locker room recognize that, right? Like they see you putting the work in and then they see you having success on the field. That's got to reflect on you well, not only with your teammates, but also with coaches, right? Yeah, for sure, man. And that's one of the things, you know, I'm not a guy, you know, I, like Grave call it front runner. I don't want to be a front runner. I want to be able to, you know, even when things going bad, can I still, you know, be a leader, get the guys up on the sideline, like, we, we good, you know, let's go, let's go get a stop. Just being able to do it instead of just talking about it, going out there, getting better with my technique, you know, just how can I, you know, get better to show other guys that I am coachable and, you know, I do want to be better as a player. And, you know, stuff like that, I think it shows that you're, it shows your teammate that you are a guy that they can trust. Jeffrey Simmons, thank you for being our Rackley Roofing Tough Titan. You guys are currently watching the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola, but did you know that the Titans actually have two other shows that you can check out and get your Titans fix? Well, when we come back from this break, we're going to show you behind the scenes of how all the Titans shows come together. That's when we return to the Bet MGM studio. On this edition of Inside the Titans, presented by Xfinity, we take you inside the production of this show and the other two Titan shows during the course of the week, the challenges that go on to put them together, especially in 2020, as we deal with COVID and the fact that most of us can't be together. We welcome you back to Titans All Access. Time now for our Nissan Insider, Titans quarterback, Ryan Tannehill. I think we understand 
that we have a responsibility to deliver for our sponsors, deliver for our TV partners, but mostly to deliver for our fans. We as a football team are appreciative of that message that goes out. We have so many different types of fans, and so we have types of shows that provide content almost specific to that fan. If you've got elements for the hardcore fan, if you've got fun off the field things, and if you've got everything in between, then you're touching all of those people. Watch the blocks on the open side. On Titans All Access, you're getting a little bit of everything. And there's community, and there's some football, and there's kind of human interest pieces. That's all you need right there. I love to hear it. On Blitz, you get Eddie George, and you get Lance Smith, and you get some of the fun, lighthearted sides of this football team. And then you have the Mike Vrabel Show, where you're getting some hardcore X's and O's evaluation of what just happened for this Titans football team and then where they're going. You can see right there at the top of the route when we break it off, Khalees stems it outside, gets the DB turned around. The diversity of our content, I think, is what keeps it fresh and entertaining. I mean, if I'm not enjoying our content, I would assume that our fans aren't enjoying our content either. How would you like to work for an NFL team? I sure would. You already do. Oh yeah. If it bored them or if they hated it, they wouldn't watch it. So how do we enhance their passion about the Tennessee Titans and the NFL? Well, we're doing it through different things that we do on TV. There they are, look at them right there. This year's been different in a lot of different ways from just the function of how we shoot these shows and the way that we are in kind of the spaces that we're able to be in. It's definitely affected the workflow, but I've been very impressed with the things that the Titans have put in place to make it so me and the other video people can still streamline everything from our houses. Whether it's doing it on a laptop or having a special microphone that we hand to someone who's in a different room, there's all these different ways that we have to find technology or just other resources to help us get our job done. You have to, you know, really pre-plan almost tenfold to what we did before and I think that's been the, the biggest challenge. We're lucky to have a facility here at Nissan Stadium. We're lucky to have people who can come over and can work on our crews and can make a difference and can shoot it well. I usually handle a lot of the player interviews and a lot of the interviews at different events and things like that. All of that is virtual now. That was amazing, you did, job. <laughs> you did a good job. Working with them virtually has not been as hard as I thought it would be. That's a plan, Mike, appreciate you guys. Because John and Mike both give maximum effort. Our hope is that nobody watching any of our programs notices a difference. I think that's what we were striving for when we entered the pandemic. It's like, let's take a step back, understand how we're going to do these new shows, and how can we still put out something that's that's high quality, that is expected of, of the Titans brand. Amy Adams Strunk wants things to be done at a certain level, and there's an expectation that we will be a great team in this league, and that applies to everyone across the board. And I've been proud of the men and women who work on our shows because I think what you see is the best product we've ever put out. A lot of good people make it happen for you every single week on our television programs, and we appreciate all of their great efforts. We're certainly thankful for them. When we come back, Mike Vrabel's keys to beating Indianapolis in round two. The Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola from the Bet MGM studio continues next. Welcome back to the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola from the Bet MGM studio. Time for Mike Vrabel's Nissan keys to success. Start with the kicking game and protection. Well, certainly we're going to have to protect our punter and kicker, something that uh, we didn't do the last time. But you know, I think when you see on Sunday that we took care of the protection, we were able to execute those kicks. Those guys were able to do their job. Stephen made his kicks, uh, you know, and, and, and Trevor was able to kick the ball down there for us to, to go down and cover. Uh, so that's going to be a huge key. Get a lot of respect for for this special teams unit uh, that we're going against here with the Colts. It's excellent in coverage. And um, I, I'd say this is the best special teams unit we face to, to, to the date. Key number two, win the turnover battle. Yeah, I mean, I think that this defense that we're playing, not only are they good, but they're, they're forcing turnovers. And we're going to have to take care of the ball. But we're going to have to find ways to get them 
you know, off of off the quarterback and finding ways to, to hammer and rake a ball out. It's hard to go, you know, 85, 90 yards against a, a really good defense, which is what they are. And I just think that for us to, to be able to, to control that phase and win the turnover battle is going to be critical to our success. And then just like what the Titans did yesterday, compete and finish for 60 minutes. No doubt about that. That's going to finish us on this edition of the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Coca-Cola. Happy Thanksgiving. Yep, happy Thanksgiving, Mike, and to uh, everybody that helps us with this wonderful show. All right. Thanks so much for being with us. The Mike Rabel Show from the Bet MGM studio. Have a great night, everybody. And again, happy Thanksgiving.